A quiet moment with friends is hard to come by these days for Penny Alexiak. It's pretty great. I can't complain about it, but it's also like a little bit crazy just when I'm walking down the street and I'll have people like shouting my name or like people asking for photos and stuff. <laughs> Today's parade celebrated all the Olympians who live and train in Toronto. Oh, yay, here comes Penny! But after a stunning four medal haul in Rio, Alexia was the star attraction. Hey, you and Marie? You and Marie? Yeah. I have it all recorded too, so <laughs> something he'll remember for the rest of his life, right? For Alexiak's friends, it's an adjustment too. Like we were at the mall the other day and like random people just go up to her and ask for pictures and it's like, oh, we're okay. just like, camera take pictures. getting used to it. Up to 5,000 people lined the parade route. Crazy, like I never knew I'd even like be 100 meters with her. I just like saw her right here. It's crazy. Even after that fanfare, the golden girl is still humble. I'm Penny Alexiak, and... <laughs> so this party is to honor Alexiak and the other Olympians, but it's also to honor athletes from years gone by. Elaine Tanner, her teammates call her the Mighty Mouse. Elaine Tanner was the first Canadian woman to ever win an Olympic medal in swimming, three in fact, at the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City. It took almost 50 years for some of the Trailblazers' accomplishments to be beaten by none other than Alexia. When I was uh, 15, 16, Canadians didn't do very well internationally. So I think that particularly this year, especially the women, have showed Canadians and the world that we can be just as good as anyone else. What? <laughs> or better, and they know it at Alexiak's Toronto Swim Club. Have you ever swam in the same pool with her? No. My dad has. Good job, good job. The pressure of the road ahead made lighter by the support of a country. Chris Glover, CBC News, Toronto.